Hey everyone, it's Amit Kumar Ghosh here, SD Mentor and Vice President at Spalak. Today, we are diving into a topic that I know many of you are passionate about. Learning to code like a genius without wasting precious time. Now, who wouldn't want that, right? So, let's get started. Do you know that according to study, over 70% of new coders feel overwhelmed and give up within the first year? Crazy, right? But don't worry. We are going to turn those stats around today. When I first started coding, I was all over the place, trying to learn five languages at once. Jumping from one tutorial to another, it felt like I was running on a treadmill and getting anywhere. Sound familiar, right? Well, you are not alone. And that's why we are here today. Our goal today is simple, to give you practical tips and strategies to help you learn to code efficiently and effectively, avoiding the common time wasting pitfalls. Ready? Let's do this. Alright, first thing first, understanding the basics. You wouldn't build a house without a solid foundation. And coding is too different. Think of the fundamentals like the ABCs of coding. If you don't understand them, you will struggle to form coherent sentences. Let's alone build sophisticated application key fundamental topics we are talking data structures and algorithms and basic syntaxes these are building blocks of any programming language now choosing the right language so how do you choose the right language well consider what you want to achieve if you are interested in web development javascript might be your best bet for data science python scale and for enterprise level application, Java and .NET are rock solid choices. Here's a pro tip for you. Focus on one language initially, master its basics before branching out. It's like learning to ride a bike before trying a motorcycle. Next up, let's talk about setting up a productive learning environment. Because let's face it, try to code in messy room with a million distractions is a recipe for disaster. Organize your physical and digital workspace. Clean up your desk and make sure your computer desktop isn't cluttered with random files. A tidy space equals a tidy mind. Now let's get into the tools. You need a good coding editor or ID. Visual Studio Code and IntelliJ IDEA are great options. And don't forget about online resources sites like Stack Overflow, MDN, Scholar Hat are your new best friends. Here's a pro tip for you. Set a version control from the start. Get is a lifesaver. Trust me. You don't want to lose hours of work because you forgot to save file. Now let's get into creating a structured learning plan. Because if you fail to plan, you're planning to fail. Goal setting. Set clear, achievable goals. Don't just say, I want to learn to code. Be specific. I want to build a simple web application in the next three months. Curriculum development. Develop a personalized curriculum. You don't need to enroll in an expensive bootcamp if it's not in your budget. There are plenty of free and low-cost resources available. Platforms like Coursera, Color Hat, Audacity offers excellent courses. Here's a pro tip I'll give. Project-based learning is gold. Apply what you learn in real-world scenarios. Build projects that interest you. It makes learning more engaging and practical. Okay, let's talk study techniques because it's not just about putting in the hours it's about how you see you, those hours active learning is key don't just passively watch tutorials get your hands dirty code along experiment break things and then fix them the payment technique is fantastic for this teach what you have learned to someone else even if that someone is else is your cat. Consistency is your friend. Aim to choose a little bit every day. It's better to do 30 minutes daily than to cram for 5 hours on a Sunday. Balance is important too. Don't burn yourself out. Use coding challenges and competition to sharpen your skills. Platforms like Recode, HackerRank and Code Wars are 
perfect for this. They will push you out of your comfort zone and help you think critical. Next, let's dive into the power of community and mentorship. Because nobody learns in a vacuum, join coding communities. Stack Workflow, Reddit, GitHub, they are treasure troves of knowledge. You can ask questions, share your progress and learn from others. Finding a mentor. Finding a mentor can be a game changer. Look for someone who work you admires and who willing to guide you. Don't be shy, reach out to them. The worst they can say is no. Effective communication is key. When you are stuck, explain your problem clearly and concisely. You will get a better help that way. And remember, it's okay to ask for help. We all start somewhere. Building a real world project is where the magic happens. This is where you apply everything you have learned. Project selection. Choose projects that aligns with your learning goals. If you are into web development, build a personal website or a simple e-commerce site. If app development is your thing, create a basic app using Java or .NET Tool. Showcasing your work. Document your projects, write detailed description including any challenges you face and how you overcame them. Share your code on GitHub and create a portfolio website. Here's a pro tip for you. Contribute to open source projects is a great way to gain experience. Learn from more experienced developers and give back to the community. Plus, it looks fantastic on your resume. Let's be real. Learning to code isn't all rainbows and butterflies. There will be challenges. But don't worry. We have got this. First, debugging and problem solving. Debugging is a part of coding. Embrace it. Use systematic approaches to find and fix bugs. Break down problems into smaller manageable parts. Dealing with imposter syndrome. Imposter syndrome is real and it sucks. But remember, every coder has felt it at some point. Focus on your progress and celebrate your wins, no matter how small. Keep a journal of your learning journey. Write down what you have learned each day, what you struggle with and how you overcame it. It's a great way to see how far you have come and to stay motivated. 9. Continuous learning and adaptation. The tech industry is always evolving. Continuous learning is crucial if you want to stay ahead of the curve. Stay updated with industry trends and advancements. Follow tech blogs, listen to podcasts and join webinars. Subscribe to newsletters from sites like TechCrunch, Wired and Hacker News. Learning new technologies. Be open to learn new technologies. Today it might be JavaScript, tomorrow it could be something entirely different. Embrace a growth mindset and be willing to adapt. Here's a pro tip for you. Set aside time each week for learning and experimentation. It could be reading an article, watching a tutorial, or experimenting with a new technology. Keep your skills sharp and curious. Alright, let's wrap this up. We have covered a lot today. From understanding the basics, setting up a productive learning environment, to create a structured learning plan, and overcoming challenges. Let's recap all the key points that we have saw today. Remember, learning to code like a genius isn't a about being the smartest person in the room. It's about working smart, staying organized, and continuously improving. Don't get discouraged by setbacks. Every mistake is a learning opportunity. Keep pushing forward and you will get there. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and comment below. Share your own coding tips or ask any question you have. I am Amit Kumar Bose and I'll see you in the next video. Happy coding!